Thank you, everyone. I'd like to share with you a way to import rubrics from a spreadsheet. And um, it can be helpful in certain situations. So um, I'll just go over briefly the couple ways that you can create rubrics. I mean, Mahima already did a great job showing you creating a rubric and the way on Canvas. And then I'll show you this way that you can do it from a spreadsheet. So I found that, you know, the, what Mahima showed, you know, it's, it's pretty quick. It's very easy to do, but unfortunately it's not very flexible to edit. So my little story is shown here. I, I had been using rubrics for a while and this is a presentations rubric that I was using in the senior project that I created. And so it was pretty detailed. There were probably seven or eight, you know, criteria. And so I had all these detailed, you know, ratings. And so I got to the end, right? Overall presentation elements. And then I was like, oh no, this really should be part of the rubric also. And I had laid out the laid out the rubric to also be sort of a guide for the students for how to make their presentation, right? Start with the introduction, then go to the goals and then to this. And so I had this big piece, which should have actually come right in the you know middle of the presentation at the end. And so I, I and the reason it, I couldn't move it. I, you know, when you create the rubric like Mahima showed you, you know, you can definitely edit the uh, rating elements in each row of the rubric, but you cannot take one row and move it up or move it down to some other place. So all of a sudden I was stuck with this, you know, spent, I don't know, a half hour, 45 minutes editing this thing and I couldn't move <laughs> this uh, row. So I ended up telling the students, oh, well, okay, you still have to present your prime concept, but that has to come earlier. And so I had students either didn't hear that. And so they did their presentation and this piece came sort of toward the end and it was a mess. And so I was like, oh, do I really have to retype the whole thing just to get this in a different location? So I started looking around on the Canvas, you know, kind of the help um, community and things like that. And so there's this guy, James Jones, who is, he's kind of a guru in terms of doing things, you know, to automate um, stuff. And, you know, he's not a, he doesn't work for Canvas. He's just an instructor because he's at a community college and, but he's just done a lot of really good things. So a lot of people, you know, uh, follow his work and he's published a whole bunch of other sort of utilities to do kind of speed things up for your workflow and you're using Canvas. So he came up with a way to uh, be able to import a rubric from Excel. So you could build it in Excel and hey, insert row, no problem, right? Move things around, no problem. And then just import it directly into Canvas. So that's what I'd like to show you. And um, on, you know, you'll, you'll get a copy of this presentation so you can go off and look at the um, the links here if you want to get more information. So um, so anyway, um, the way to do this is uh, you you have to use this tool uh, called Tamper Monkey, which is a, a user script um, program. So it 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 operates um, with a, a a script that basically interprets the, uh, the, the screen information coming from Canvas uh, to make it a, you, you able to upload this uh, information from a spreadsheet. So here's just a, a screenshot from my spreadsheet um, for a rubric um, that I put in the spreadsheet. And so what you can basically do is just dra drag and copy your spreadsheet and then dump it into the importer that I'll show you here in a second. So that's kind of the workflow for how it goes. Um, so anyway, let's, um, so you'll, you'll need to get this uh, Tamper Monkey um, uh, user script uh, program. And so you can uh, get it from tampermonkey.net. And so um, you can just basically download it 
um, and then install it um, by uh, using the, uh, the add to Firefox or whatever Braille browser you're using. And it will uh, be added then into your, um, your web browser. Okay, so uh, you'll get a, a indication that Tamper Monkey is running in your web browser uh, if it got installed properly. Okay, so after you've done that, then you can go to uh, his rubric importer and there's a link for that. And so um, you can uh, then just install this, uh, this uh, user script for doing this upload. So uh, once you install that, what you'll see when you um, go to either doing a rubric like Mahima showed you, or you can actually go to um, uh, in Canvas, if you look over on the left-hand side, there is a link for creating rubrics. And so if you've installed this um, script, user script editor, you'll get this extra button right here. Uh, if you don't have that, you'll just see add rubric. Okay, so um, to do this, basically you can um, click on import a rubric and um, then you'll be able to, uh, you'll get a screen that looks something like this, where you can put the, the title of the rubric in here. Um, so I don't know, sample rubric, something like this. And then, then you'll just paste from uh, Excel right in this box. So um, if I go over to, here's a, here's a spreadsheet um, where rubric I was working with for specs grading um, for lab report. Um, the, what you need to have in the, in the rubric is um, the long description is optional, but what you need are um, a description and the points as pairs. So for each item that you're working with, you need description and point pairs. Okay, so um, so anyway, let me see if I can uh, do this. Uh, we'll copy this and then we'll come over here and uh, paste it if we can. Let's see, where's paste? Okay, so then if, if you've got those point pairs uh, properly in there, you should be able to go create. And if everything works fine, you should have a new um, rubric, which, what did, I, what did I call it? Oh, sample rubric right here, created. Okay, so then click on that and here is your rubric. So, and if you have the oops moment of, oh shoot, I forgot to add that row. Well, you could just go back to your spreadsheet and move it around and then re-upload it, um, delete the other one. So, uh, so that's, the, that's the idea for how to do this uh, importing. So you need a title um, and then you need those uh, pasted point pairs in the box. So let me show you what happens if you know you know if you get uh, if you don't have a, all the point pairs. So let's just leave out um, uh, like this one. Let me see if I blank this. Let's delete that one, um, and then let's let's try to re-import uh, a new uh, rubric here. And so um, go to rubric, and we'll import a rubric and say sample two just so you see what this looks like. Sample two rubric. And we'll again, uh, I won't copy everything on this. Let's just copy this, copy, and then we'll paste and then create. And let's see what happens. Oh, it looks like it worked. Okay, well, that one worked. Uh, so sometimes you'll get an error um, that says something like, well, you don't have a balanced uh, point pairs. And so, it, you know, you just have to look through and see what you didn't include, or if you didn't have a title such as this, um, you know, if you didn't have that, I think that would probably fail. So let's try that. Um, let's go back to here. And, oops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. 
not this, cancel, import a rubric, sample three. Just want to get one that fails here. <laughs> Create. Ah, it's not failing. Maybe he fixed, I don't know. Maybe he made it more robust. That's actually working pretty well. So anyway, um, that's kind of the idea for, um, for how to do this uh, importing a rubric. It's very easy and it gives you a lot more flexibility to um, how to create the, uh, the rubric and, and edit it. So anyway, that's my presentation.